here on KPCS. My name is Dale Mondrain. For the next hour, we'll be traveling down Nostalgia Lane, visiting some of the great entertainers of the past. So keep your dial set at 89.3 FM. That's KPCS in Pasadena. From the 1940 motion picture Spring Parade, this is Deanna Durbin singing When April Sings. The countryside is green again, the world is 17 again, my heart awakes when April sings. The skies above are blue again, the daffodils are new again, these are the joys that April brings. Songbirds are whispering down by the street. Fire Chief Gasoline <laughs> on this program. Yeah. 
You should mention our product, whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fire cheap gasoline. Do you mean to say that that's what we're selling? Get back to work, will you? Fire cheap gasoline? <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I've known it. I've been here three years. <laughs> Are you, isn't this a chewing gum program? <laughs> you can't chew well, I've got gum. nothing against the gasoline. I honestly have it. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> but personally, I'll stick to my horse. Oh, that's right. Right. My <laughs> aunt loves horses, Graham. She does? Oh, she loves horse racing. She goes with me to all the races. Is that so? Oh, my goodness, yes. Hmm? Last week, she went to the doctor. She didn't feel well, you know. Uh -huh. The doctor examined her. He says, you're all right, madam. Yeah. But there's something wrong with your system. That worry <laughs> your aunt? My aunt said, you're nuts. My system's all right. I picked three winners yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, all right. Hey, Chief. Chief, listen, will you be quiet? We've got a lot of letters here, and we have to get through them. Let's oh, start, yes, huh? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, here's one from Palm Springs, California. Palm Springs? Yeah. Dear Fire Chief, you claim to know everything. Answer this one. Who was the first person to do a jigsaw puzzle? Signed, a piece missing. <laughs> See, you're not all there. It went, it went, it went. The first person to do a jigsaw puzzle was the Scotsman who tore up a $10 bill by mistake. <laughs> well, here, here's one from Dallas, Texas. Where? Dallas, Texas. Dallas. Yeah. Dear Fire Chief, who was the greatest gangster of all time? Sign. Forgot what to say. Gangster. Dear, I'll be very careful. <laughs> the greatest gangster of all time was Atlas. <laughs> He held up the whole world, that guy. <laughs> Go on, four horse. Here's one from Tucson. Here's, uh, here's, here's one from Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, I've been there, Graham. Dear Fire Chief, uh -oh. last night while I was sleeping, my wife shaved off my mustache. What do you think of that? Signed, Mortified. Oh, my. <laughs> Dear Mortified, it's the condition that exists in all over the world right now. The mere fact that your mustache was shaved off while you were sleeping. <laughs> Proves that nobody can tell what's going on right under their own noses. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're a very, very lovely audience. I'd like to try and sing for your song, made famous by Miss Fanny Bryce. It's titled Our Man. Thank you. <laughs> It costs me a lot, but there's one thing that I've got, it's my man, it's my man, cold or wet, tired you bet. All of this I'll soon forget With my man He's not much on looks He's no hero Out of books But I love him Yes, I love him. Two or three girls has he that he likes as well as me. But I love him. I don't know why I should. He isn't true. He beats me too. What can I do? Oh, my man, I love him so. He'll never know. All my life is just despair. But I don't care. When he takes me in his arms, the world is bright, all right. What's the difference if I say I'll go away when I know I'll come back on, not near someday. 
was Billy Holiday doing My Man. Before that, we heard Ed Wynn from his old radio show, and we started off with Deanna Durbin, When April Sings. The need of our time is for everyone to develop more of their full potential, so that all aspects of life are more rewarding. Transcendental meditation is a simple, natural technique which fulfills this need. Transcendental meditation unfolds three qualities of life which are essential for balanced growth, adaptability, stability, and integration. These qualities naturally develop through a deep state of relaxation that increases the orderly functioning of body and mind. This progressive unification results in greater accomplishment and enjoyment of life. The International Meditation Society is now offering courses in Transcendental Meditation throughout the greater Los Angeles area. For further information, call 449-4224. From 1950, recorded live on the Bing Crosby radio show, this is Judy Garland. about it. Yes, when I love, I love. I cannot live without it. And when I fall, I fall. And you should never doubt it. If my lips say no to you, they're only telling lies. Look at me and you will see a CC in my eyes. Boom, dee dum pum 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 Boom, dee dum pum 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 Da 
That's how my rats goes in I am key I'm so excited Bum, ti dum, bum, 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 bum Bum, ti dum, bum, 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 bum You have oomph and oomph I can resist When I meet a man And he's nice looking I smile at him and say Hey, what's cooking? And when he holds me tight And puts a cheek to mine I feel so trick, so calm, so, so divine I feel like Mickey Mouse is running up and down my spine Bum, ti dum, bum, 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 bum I'm completely overcome. Punch it up when I love I know. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. You fall for me. I fall for you. When I love I love. It is no imitation. And when I kiss, I kiss with such anticipation. And when I thrill, I thrill. But I need cooperation. If I say stop, please go away. And I am acting cool. If you stop and go away, you are just a fool. Something in me sing when I'm caressed Mama, you'll get a bum chidum pum 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 Bum chidum pum 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 When I give you, I always give my best When I meet a man and he's nice looking I smile at him and say, hey, what's cooking? And when he holds me tight and puts a cheek to mine I feel so terrific, so colossal, so divine I feel like Mickey Mouse I was just running up and down my spine. Bunch it up, bump, 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 bump. Bunch it up, bump, 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 bump. Bunch it up when I love. Bunch it up when she loves. When I dream, I dream. When I dream, I dream. When I kiss, I kiss. When I fall, I fall in. When I love, I, I love. Carmen Miranda, when I love, I love. Before that, we heard Benny Goodman from 1938 with "Don't Be That Way," and we started with Judy Garland. You made me love you. We'll be back with Old Time Radio after this. Why are some men spry at 80 and others inactive at 18? To be young is to be young in spirit. Youth is an outlook, not a stage. To be young is to face life, not to fear it. Youth is a feeling, not an age. The American Chiropractic Association reminds you that chronological age is not a reliable indicator of abilities. Health is. Take care of yours. Youth is a feeling, not an age. And now from KPCS, my name is Dale Mondre, and this is Old Time Radio. When my baby smiles at me, what a familiar, tuneful radio signature. And need I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that this melody heralds the approach to the microphone of that lovable, high-hatted tragedian of song, Ted Lewis. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, is everybody happy? The Woody Herman Show, music and fun by America's band number one, brought to you by the makers of Wild Roof Cream Oil for the hair. Yeah. Just mention the word charity to most Americans. They'll dig right down in their pockets to contribute. But you know, sometimes it doesn't do any harm to find out just where your money is going. <laughs> it's Scatter Good Veins versus Sweet Charity. Can a stepmother successfully raise another woman's children? Colgate All Purpose Tooth Powder presents the real life story of Kay Fairchild, a stepmother who tries. Hey. Hey, 
half a million bucks. Rocky, you gone crazy? I said 500,000 smackers. You got that? Half a million smackers for a little brain work. And maybe a few rounds of ammo for Chopper's typewriter. In the interest of good citizenship and law enforcement, we present Crime Does Not Pay. From the pen of Raymond Chandler, outstanding author of mystery, comes his most famous character and crime's most deadly enemy as we present The Adventures of Philip Marlowe. and death strikes. How? You'll learn the answer in just a moment in The Man with the Black Beard. Hey, Abbott! What time is it? Why, it's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. When a girl marries. Maxwell House, that right, mellow, satisfying coffee that's good to the last drop, presents When a Girl Marries, a tender human story of young married life dedicated to everyone who has ever been in love. The Road of Life, brought to you transcribed by Ivory Soap. Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> the Red Skelton Program. Here's the Dave Rose Orchestra, Anita Ellis, Verna Felton, Lorraine Tuttle, Pat McGeehan, Rod O'Connor, and our star, Red Skelton. Here's Troman Harper, the rumor detective, with the truth about rumors, presented by Groves Bromoquinine Cold Tablets. Good evening. If you believe rumors, you're a sucker. If you repeat rumors, you're one of Hitler's best soldiers. Learn the truth about rumors. The truth is a bayonet. With it, you can jab and slice a rumor to ribbons. N-A-B-I-S-C-O, Nabisco is the name to know. For a breakfast you can't beat, try Nabisco shredded wheat. Keen eyes fixed on a flying target. A gleaming arrow set against a rawhide string. A strong bow bent almost to the breaking point. And then... Great arrow! Nabisco Shredded Wheat presents Straight Arrow, a new thrilling adventure story from the exciting days of the Old West. To friends and neighbors alike, Steve Adams appeared to be nothing more than the young owner of the Broken Bow cattle spread. But when danger threatened innocent people, and when evildoers plotted against justice, then Steve Adams' rancher disappeared. And in his place came a mysterious stalwart Indian, wearing the dress and war paint of a Comanche, riding the great golden Palomino Fury, galloping out of the darkness to take up the cause of law and order throughout the West, comes the legendary figure of 
Great Arrow. You're listening to KPCS 89.3 FM in Pasadena. He's home for a little while. And of course, the fantastic Janis Joplin from 1968, Bye Bye Baby. And we started with Liza Morrow and Benny Goodman from 1945, My Guys Come Back. I'm John Warner, administrator of the new Bicentennial Administration established by the Congress of the United States. The Bicentennial is the 200th anniversary of the founding of our great nation. The Bicentennial honors the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. Those three great instruments that are the blueprint for the longest surviving democratic republic in the world. More than that, the Bicentennial is the laying of the cornerstone for the nation's third century. We Americans face a challenge as fresh, as daring, as that of the spirit of 1776 unite in a common effort to improve the quality of life. I urge you join in the continuing American Revolution. Make sure your name is inscribed on that cornerstone as a participant. Tommy Dorsey from 1937. Good morning, Freddie, darling. Good morning, Chalu Angel. Sweetheart, I must say you look refreshingly well rested this morning. Yes, thanks to our wonderful Pasternak factory-tested Pussy Willow mattress. (laughs) 
The mattress that takes all of the guesswork out of sleeping. <laughs> Well, breakfast ready, Angel Face? Yes, sweetums, here's your coffee. Well, thank you, doll. Ah. Uh... Oh, peach fuzz, you've spilled some on your vest. Good. Now I can try some of that little panther spot remover. <laughs> Just spray some little panther on your vest and watch it eat the spot right out. <laughs> and imagine, darling... Stop! Don't you dare move to Lou. darling... What? What have you done to your hair? That sheen, that brilliance. Well, I guess it's what so many society women are doing these days. I went to Madame Yvonne's hair do heaven. Well, it is divine. Your head looks like the back of a bunny, really. <laughs> oh, our canary. Oh, little Yasha is so happy. He knows that the newspaper on the bottom of his cage is New York's leading daily. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I just love the way your tooth is shining this morning. <laughs> yes, Mummy. I brushed it with Dr. Pratt's homogenized toothpaste. So sweet. I love you, Mummy oh. and Dad. I love you, too, darling. <laughs> now you got it school, baby. <laughs> well, that's little Yasha telling us our time is up. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 6, folks. Until then, this is Freddie. And to Lou. Saying goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> now, wasn't that... Wasn't that simple, Tallulah, with a radio program like this? But it's ridiculous, Fred. Nobody can possibly be that cheerful every morning. Well, that's true. If one of those happy couples woke up grouchy one morning, the listener would probably hear something like this. Uh, 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 hey, uh, knucklehead, get out of that bed. you got a program to do. Will you quit yapping? <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. Who's up to listen to us? A couple of burglars and Arthur Godfrey, maybe. <laughs> Mouth tastes like a sand hog. Just pulled his foot out of it. Dad, I'm sleeping. Well, why don't you stay home some night and try sleeping? Sleeping on that Pasternak Pussy Willow mattress? <laughs> Every time I lie down on that cat hair, my back arches. <laughs> oh, stop beefing. Here's your coffee. Well, it's about time. I spill some on my nightshirt. Oh, you're such a slob. I'll get that bottle. Of <laughs> that little bottle of panther spot removed. You're not putting any of that Adam juice on me. <laughs> the last time it ate away my nightshirt and I still had the spot left. <laughs> Where do you find these sponsors? In the police lineup? No! Your hair. <laughs> it, it looks as though you just took your head out of a mix master. <laughs> I know that hag Madam Yvonne with her chicken fat. My hair keeps sliding off my head. <laughs> ah, that bird again. Shut up, you molting pest. Now look here, Clamp. Oh, face. shut up. And Yasha, you shut up, too. Good morning, Mommy and Daddy. <laughs> That'll teach you sneaking up on your parents with that one tooth like an old elf. <laughs> Can the kid help it if she looks like you? <laughs> I want my breakfast. <laughs> uh, go gum a donut. Hot down, Tom. And I've had enough of this grind with you and that kid in the canary yapping around. I've got a gun here. Yes, and you're next. Alone, alone with the sky of romance above. Alone, alone on a night that was meant for love. There must be someone A million 
the stars are shining bright that glorify the sky. A million lovers out tonight, but here am I, alone, alone with a sky of romance above. It was man for love. There must be someone waiting who appears the way I do. Wherever you are, are you? Are you? That could make me care And when you'll come I promise To be your man Alone Till we are together We two was Alan Jones from the motion picture A Night at the Opera, also starring the Marx Brothers. That was Alone. Before that, we heard Fred Allen and Tallulah Bankhead from the old Allen's Alley of radio fame. And we started with Tommy Dorsey from 1937. That was Song of India. We'll be back with our final selections after this. Hi. Hi. Are you stuck? I sure am. You want me to take a look at it? Maybe I can do something. Oh, I wish it. you would. That'd be terrific. I what, don't know anything about what, it. Uh, what happens? Nothing at all? You get nothing? It won't turn over. Yeah, it just be your distributor is wet. What's a distributor? That's a distributor. Oh. That's the carburetor. That's the engine. That's the body. Let me try. Do you have anything I can dry it off with? Yeah, yeah. I think I've got something in here. Here, how's this? A sock. That yeah, is. I was going to go do my laundry. Well, I don't know. That might do it. Try it. Man. Okay. There's a couple other things we can try. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. If you'd like to learn something that can help you wherever you go, today's Army has a job for you. I'm in the Army. I'm working on For the location of your nearest Army representative, call 800-523-4800, toll free. Want to go do my laundry? Again, the fantastic... Billy Holiday. There is nothing I ever do or nothing I ever say that folks don't criticize me. But I'm going to do just as I want to anyway. And don't care just what people say. If I should take a notion to jump right into the ocean Ain't nobody's business If I do If I go to church on Sunday Then carry all day Monday Ain't nobody's business If I do if my man ain't got no money And I say take all of mine and honey Ain't nobody's business what I do If I give him my last nickel And he leaves me 
in a pickup. Ain't nobody's business if I do. I'd rather my man would hit me than for him to jump up and quit me. Ain't nobody's business if I do. I swear I won't call no copper if I'm beat up by my papa. Ain't nobody's business if I do. Ain't nobody's business. Nobody's business. Nobody's business if I do. Once was a girl named Jenny, whose virtues were varied but many, excepting that she was inclined always to make up her mind. But Jenny points a moral with which you cannot quarrel, as you will find. As we will find, say who's Jenny? Never heard of Jenny. Jenny. Mortal, find Jenny is immortal and has a bearing on this case. As for instance, well, for instance, Jenny made her mind up when she was three that she herself was going to trim the Christmas tree. Christmas Eve, she lit the candles, tossed the tapers away. Little Jenny was an orphan on Christmas Day. Poor Jenny, bright as a penny, her equal would be hard to find. She lost a dad and mother, a sister and a brother, but she would make up her mind. She was an orphan on Christmas Day. Jenny made her mind up when she was 12, that into foreign languages she would delve. At 17 to Vassar, it was quite a blow, that in 27 languages she couldn't say no. Poor oh, Jenny, right as a penny, her equal would be hard to find. Beholden, her heart was big and golden, but she would make up her mind. She was a woman, the kind of woman who made up her mind. Jenny made her mind up at 32. To get herself a husband was the thing to do. She got herself all dolled up in her satins and furs. And she got herself a husband, but he wasn't hers. She got herself a husband, but he wasn't hers. Poor Jenny. Jenny made her mind up at 51 That she would write her memoirs before she was done The very day her book was published, history relates There were wives who shot their husbands in some 33 states Oh, poor Jenny, right as a penny Her equal would be hard to find Deserved a bed of roses, but history discloses That she would make up her mind Jenny made up, made up her mind up at 75 that she would live to be the oldest woman alive but gin and rum and whiskey play some funny tricks and poor jenny kicked the bucket at 76 jenny wants to borrow cause if she can't borrow takes a lot of common sense jenny and her saga prove that you are gaga if you don't keep sitting on the fence Don't make up, you shouldn't make up, mustn't make up, never make up. Anyone with vision comes to this decision. Don't, Don't make, make up. up. Yeah. Erskine Hawkins from 1940, After Hours. Before that, we heard Ann Southern doing the Ballad of Jenny, and we started off with Billie Holiday, Nobody's Business. 
that's going to close my big band show for today. My name is Dale Mondre, and I'll be back at next Friday night at 6 for more of the same. Until then, for myself and the KPCS staff, let me wish you all a pleasant weekend. You're tuned to the sounds of the big bands on KPCS Pasadena 89.3, coming to you from the campus of Pasadena City College. Thank you.